Hey everybody, as Mr. MathDog, this lesson is called Prime Factorization. This is uh, the second lesson in our textbook, and don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathDog.com. And for our teachers, there's our common core strand, and here um, our question is, how do we write the prime factorization of numbers? So, in order to know or study something, it's often helpful to break it down into its mo most basic parts. So this is true in science when you're studying cells and atoms and language, when you study uh, the roots and prefix and suffix. And uh, in math, knowing the prime factorization of numbers can also be very helpful. So in fact, this lesson is really helpful. You'll use this um, uh, much uh, later in your uh, in, in several of your other math classes. So anyways, the prime factorization of a number is the number that is written as the product of all its prime factors. Okay, and so remember a prime number, you guys, is a whole number that's greater than one that has exactly two factors, only um, itself and one. So for example, two is the smallest prime number. It's only one times two or two times one and three times one and five times one and seven times one. See, like 10 is not a prime number because that's 2 times 5 also. And 9 is not a prime number because that's 3 times 3. But 11 is prime, 13 is prime. So this should be enough for, for what we need in, in this lesson here, you guys. So one way is to use what's called um, uh, factor trees, you guys, to find the prime factorization. So here we're going to do this with 180. So we're going to choose any two factors whose product is 180. We'll do it a couple of ways in this lesson. And then we just keep continue finding factors until only prime factors are left. So let's uh, use basic facts about um, factors of 180. Well, since this ends in a zero, then we know 10 goes into it. So think of uh, 10, 10 times what number equals 180? Well, if you took off that zero, it would be 18. So 10 times 18 is 180. And then since 10 isn't prime, we're going to break that down. And since uh, uh, 18 is not prime, we're going to break that down. So here's our prime numbers right here. 10 or 18 is not listed in there. So we're going to do another factor tree and break this down. Can you think of something times something that equals 10? How about 18? Well, there's a couple ways to get 18. We'll choose uh, 6 times the number. And then what do you think? 10, uh, 10 is 2 times 5, and then uh, 18 is 6 times 3. Okay, 2 is prime now because that's listed down here. 5 is listed down here. 6 is not. So we're going to have to break this 6 down some more right here. And what we're going to do is, is we're going to slide these other prime numbers down so we get them all down at the bottom right there. Okay, so... Here we go. So the 2 gets slid down. The 5 we're going to slide down there. And this 6. 6 is what number times 3? Well, it's going to be 2 times 3. And then we'll slide that 3 down as well right there. Okay, so there we go. So here's the prime factorization of, um, of 180 right here. And then how would we check? We'd multiply 2 times 5 is 10. 10 times 2 is 20. 20 times 3 is is um, 60 and then finally 60 times 3 it should get us back to 180 all right let's so let's uh, relist these in in um, order from least to greatest okay so the smallest numbers are twos the next smallest numbers are threes so there's two threes there's two twos so we'll put a two here a two here a three and a three and then we got this one more five right there. So there's the prime factorization of 180. And we usually list them from smallest to greatest, okay? And then later on, we're going to learn how to write these as exponents, but that's a later lesson right there. Okay, so let's do this um, uh, and divide it by uh, 2, okay? Because 180 is even, so the, um, we did it divided by 10 first. So let's divide it by a, the smallest prime number, which is 2, okay? So half of 18 is 9, so half of 100 80 is 9 with a 0 or 90. Okay, and then 90 breaks down. We're going to break down 90 as um, 2 times. Okay, notice we slid this down right here. So what's half of uh, 90? Well, half of 90 is 45 right there. Okay, now this can break down again as I think we're going to do um, uh, 3 times this, because that's our next smallest prime number. I know you're probably thinking 9 times 5, and that's fine. You can do 9 times 5. I'm going to do 
3 times 15 right here. But as I break it down, these 2's come sliding down also right there, okay? So let's go ahead and put the 2 down here, the 2 down here, and then 45 is 3 times 15 right there, okay? And I'll show you a different way to get that uh, in the next uh, problem here, how we can get uh, 3 times uh, 15 equals 45. All right, so that's prime, that's prime, that's prime, but 15 breaks down again to 3 times 5 again. Okay, so we're going to break that down, slide those other numbers down right there, and then 15 is 3 times 5, and so we're going to get, okay, over here we got 2 times 2. This is how we did 180 when we started with 10, 10 times 18. We got 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times this 5. And then over here, it's already in order when you start with the smallest prime numbers. And you keep working with the smallest prime numbers. And it puts them in order. Here it is, 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. OK, we could have done it a different way. We'll still get the same answer at the end. So make sure you put them in the in the correct order from least to greatest, and there's our prime factorization of 180. Okay, and if it asked you how do we check, we just multiply these numbers back out, and it'll get us back to 180 right there. All right, let's do the same thing, except this one is going to be called a ladder diagram. Okay, a ladder diagram uh, kind of looks like a ladder as we're as we're breaking down 140. So we're going to choose a prime uh, factor of 140. And then we'll just continue uh, dividing by prime factors until we finally get to the quotient, which means answer of 1 right there, okay? Or final divisibility by 1. Okay, so uh, use the divisibility rule for 2, okay? So since 140 is even, uh, then we can divide that by 2. Okay, so... so um, so prime factors, so this is what's called a, um, uh, a ladder diagram. Can you see it going down like a ladder? So it kind of steps up, steps up, steps up, steps up, or steps down, steps down, steps down. So we're going to step down, okay? So here we go. 140 divided by 2 is 70. So that's what we put in this ladder right here, okay? So right here, since this is a 10, then 70 divided by what number? What are we going to put right here? 70 divided by what number? number equals 10 right there. Well, it's 7. 70 divided by 7 is going to equal that 10 right there. Okay, and then we'll do it again. 10 divided by what number will equal this 2 right there? Well, hopefully you guys can see 10 divided by 5 equals 2. And then 2 divided by what number equals 1? Well, 2 divided by 1 equals, I'm sorry, 2 divided by 2 equals, equals 1. Okay, so what we did is we we, we divided by prime numbers until we finally get to the quotient of 1 right there, okay? So here are the prime factorizations of 140. Remember, 1's not considered prime, okay? It's all the numbers that are greater than 1, okay? So if we put them in order, it would be 2 times 2 times 5 times 7, okay? Let's do it a different way, you guys. Let's do the divisibility rule for 5. Well, since 140... Uh, the last digit is a 0. Since it ends in a 0, then it's divisible by 5. Remember that trick? If it ends in a, in a 0 or a 5, it is divisible by 5. Okay, so 140 divided by 5. Watch this trick right here. 140 is the same as 100 plus 40. And so I'm going to do the distributive property and do 100 divided by 5 and then 40 divided by 5. Well, I know 10 divided by 5 is 2, so 10 with a 0 is going to be um, uh, uh, 20 with this, or 2 with a 0, so it's going to be 20. Okay, so 100 divided by 5 is 20, and 40 divided by 5 is 8. So 20 plus 8 is going to give us 28 right there. So here we did 140 divided by 5 equals 28. Nice little trick right there, okay? And then we'll do it again, you guys. And so we're going to uh, break down that 28, you guys, and divide it by 2, okay? Because they told us to divide it by 2. So let's break down 20 to 20, or 28 to 20 plus 8, okay? What's 20 divided by 2? That's going to be 10. 8 divided by 2 is going to be 4, and 10 plus 4 is 14. So that's what goes right there, okay? And then they give you the rest of this. So 
14 divided by what number equals 2? Well, 14 divided by 7 equals 2. And remember, this always has to end in 1 right there. So we'll put a 1 right there. And then 2 divided by 2 is going to give us that 1 right there. Okay, so here, here it is uh, when we first started dividing it by 2. And here it is when we first started dividing it by 5. Okay, we get these numbers, 2, 2, 5, 7. 2, 2, 5, 7. So the prime factorization of 140 is 2 times 2 times 5 times 7. Okay? Hey, uh, how can we check whether the prime factorization of our number is correct? Well, what we can do is we can multiply those numbers uh, back together. So our answer, we can take that answer and just multiply those numbers. So here on that last one, we had 140 equals 2 times 2 times 5 times 7. So if we multiply 2 times 2, that gets us 4. And then we take this 4 and multiply by the next number. 4 times 5 is 20. Then we take that number and multiply it times the next number. 20 times 7 is 140. Okay, so that's how we can check our answer. All right, you guys, I hope you're having a good first start of school, and take care.